Now, tension is still high in Modogashe, Isiolo County, and villages along the disputed Isiolo Garissa border following a series of retaliatory attacks pitting two pastoralist communities. One person was today injured in a water point that splits the two counties and was rushed to Modogashe dispensary. This even as North uh, Eastern Regional Commissioner Mohamed Birik has accused some politicians from both Isiolo and Garissa counties for inciting their communities into violence. At least two people were killed and one seriously injured after two communities clashed over scarce resources along the border of Isiolo, Garissa County. Northeastern Regional Commissioner Mohamed Birik, however, argues that the border clashes have been instigated by some politicians, both from Isiolo and Garissa counties. Birik has further warned that any politician found capable will face the full force of the law. We feel and think that uh, there's a lot of political incitement, which of course we will not be able to agree. Leaders have an opportunity to enhance peace and reconciliation among us. Northeastern Regional Commissioner says normalcy is incrementally resuming in the affected areas. This contradicts claims by the area leaders who now claim that some national police reservists could have been involved. The attackers are said to have blocked locals from accessing a water point situated right at the border. The region is currently facing acute shortage of water and pasture, threatening the livelihoods of both communities. Houses were torched on Sunday in Modogashi town as locals took to the street demanding answers on the continuous loss of lives between communities living along the Isiolo Garissa border. Lagdera Member of Parliament Mohamed Hire blamed the Interior Ministry for failing to contain wanton killings that have been blamed on boundaries and resource-based conflicts as a result of ravaging drought. Indeed, KPRs have been involved in the killings of innocent people. Then, definitely KPRs would be affected. The government has deployed more security personnel to the area to restore normalcy. According to Lagdera sub-county Deputy Commissioner Philip Koima, they have taken spent cartridges for ballistic examinations. Those people are teenagers. One is 19 years old, the other is 22 years old. They have been attacked at a watering point. And we suspect that the guns that were used to kill those boys belongs to KPR. It's the KPR from Isiolo that killed those boys. Locals are required to abide by previous resolution made in reconciliation efforts, adding that one of the resolution was sharing of available scarce resources, especially during dry spell periods. Irene Mwangi, KUTV.